Hello and welcome! Now today is a nice bite-sized video where I build the first stage in the power circuit. I will indeed be using regulators as already planned, however the regulation circuitry I build is going to be in a separate video. If you haven't checked out the previous video, the Sid Boombox Project Part 3, then I highly recommend watching that first in order for this video to make more sense. I go through my circuit as well as the types of transformers, which transformer I've chosen and why I've chosen it. Simultaneously, I'm also working on the Sidbox project along with Electronscape, and we are trying to iron out bugs and improvements before we get the ball rolling on the Kickstarter, which we plan to do ASAP. We are also thinking about printing a couple of boards off using PCBWay surfaces, just to see what the boards are like firsthand and how the Sidbox is like on them. From what Wayne and I have seen, we're so far impressed with PCBWay sample boards, which if you wish to watch my video on, I've linked it in the top right corner and in the description below. We're also thinking about possibly doing a future video populating the Sidbox board using PCBWay's board. Also, do check out PCBWay's website and services if you are needing to get a custom board done. So we've had a little fun, now let's have even more fun and start building this circuit. Now people ask me why you use terminal pins, you can actually just solder it directly on the board. Well you can do, yeah, but this just looks neater to me. And you know, if you want to desolder something, I hate desoldering off boards. It's easier to desolder off a terminal pin, again it looks neater. I'm going to put the heat down a bit just to make the tracks, because too much heat just you cannot control the solder very well. Oh. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually used to doing this with a conical tip. So I've managed to put these rectifiers in here. It was a bit of a struggle because um, the actual legs are wider than the holes on the metrics board. Now what I try to do whenever I'm on metrics board, whenever I'm, you know, soldering, is to try and use the component legs as tracks. Okay, so two of the capacitors in. 470 ohm ones. 470 ohm capacitor, what the freak. 470 oof. <laughs> I need some tea. <laughs> so we need a 100 nanofarad capacitor in the circuit. We seem to have different vibes in this. There we go, some nice neat tracks. A little bit of a goof up there. That's because I was doing it with a chisel tip actually. So I just need to get rid of that part. I'm a weird one. I can be a perfectionist in some places and not in others. It's just odd. <laughs> okay, let's put this pillow in there. And put it in parallel to this. Okay, two terminal pins for an output. is my regulator tin. It does not have shisha at the back of it. <laughs> Got so many freaking regulators. 7815, 7812, throughout the years. Oh, 7805. There we go. 7809, 
Oh, neon indicators. I like that. Actually, these are Nixie. Nixie decimal point indicators. Hmm, I keep all of them. Why are they doing it here anyway? Seven, eight, or eight. Eight volts. It's very strange <laughs> voltage. I get to use one of these cute little blue pillows. So yeah, I've successfully built my circuit here and uh, yes, I am happy with it. So what I'm going to do first is test for any shorts on the outputs and the inputs before, you know, connecting it up and uh, probably testing it. Any shorts here? That's the capacitor actually. Check here. Nope, that's fine. Check here. Let's check for shorts. Input one. Yep, that's good. Input two. It's fine. I should connect to this directly. I should connect to that directly. Good. Okay, output one. Yep, that's good. That's the capacitor. Output two. Yep, that's good. Output three. Yep, that's good. Okay, good. Now let's solder the door right onto here, power it up, and check the voltages. So what would be a good idea on this is just to tin all the terminals. Start with the hardest to reach one first. One thing I don't actually get is why is this red and black when it's um, AC? It's very odd. Okay, so that's done. Let's connect this up now. Moving any little bits of wire away from the freaking circuit board. Okay, so good. No immediate issues. Let's start testing. So, from the AC output, yeah, we have 14 volts coming out. Good. Now, let's check the DC outputs. Now, output one, which is this here. Okay, so what I discovered, there was no continuity from here to here. So I think there was probably like a really fine break in the track somewhere. Um, so I just kind of went over it with the, the iron. So I got it all. Now let's see if it's all good now. If it is, we'll just tack those two freaking <laughs> like the fire apart back together. It just seems are never simple. That is successful and I'm happy with that. So that is all for this video, but do subscribe and keep an eye out for the others in this series because this is going to be a huge project. Thanks so much for your likes, do share with your friends and do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos to subscribe for more. Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to my huge supporters and top tier patrons. Electron Skip UK, Axel Dominator, Robert Minnis, Rich Corbut, Bohen Wayne Mitchell and Chris Seblensky. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. Adios!